Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and if you like to add two or more virtual instruments together to create your own virtual instrument sounds, or you add two or more virtual instrument tracks to your song that use the same MIDI notes, here is my tutorial on how to use the instrument rack in Cakewalk Next. Click on the plus icon. Then click on Instrument Rack. Then double click on the track header to open the plugins pane. Now, this first section is where you add virtual instruments. So click on the plus icon. First, we will add a piano. So click on Piano. Then double click on Hyper Bright Piano. Now at this point we will add some notes. So click on the Record Arm icon so it turns red. Then click on the Record icon and record some notes. So now we have this. Next, we will add a second virtual instrument. So click on the plus icon. This time, let's add a voice pad. So click on Voices, then double click on the Choir Synth. And now we have both virtual instruments playing the same notes. Now, let's add some effects. And this third section adds effects to the selected virtual instrument only. So let's add a phaser to the Hyperbright Piano. So click on the Hyperbright Piano. Then click on the plus icon. Click on Modulation. Then double click on Phase 72. And let's add an exciter to the choir synth. So click on the choir synth. Click on the plus icon. Click on Enhancer. Then double click on Exciter. So now we have this. The fourth section adds effects to all sounds. So let's add a reverb to both virtual instruments. Click on the plus icon. Click on Reverb. Then double click on Univerb. And now we have Reverb added to both virtual instruments. Now let's look at section 2. 
so click on the expand collapse icon. Here we can change how the virtual instruments react to the notes. Click on Choir Synth so this section too will only affect the choir synth. The note range sets which MIDI notes will trigger the choir synth. So if we drag the right marker icon on the note range slider about halfway to the left, the choir synth will only make a sound on the MIDI notes that are on the lower half of the musical key note range. And if we get the right position, the choir synth will only play the bottom note of the piano chords in our song. Drag in the left marker icon on the velocity range slider to the right will make the choir synth only play on the louder MIDI notes. You can also click on the channel drop list and select a MIDI channel for each virtual instrument. So if you have a music keyboard with a split function, you can play and record both split channels to the instrument rack. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers!